So, it looks like every time you go to the computer, turn on the social media, you see this girl to the left and this guy to the right talking about something that always leaves us a bit confused. Anyway, CJ So Cool has so-called exposed his ex, Tata, for scamming him. Now, he had the whole summary about what happened and it was planned through his uh, hairstylist and she broke down and told everything. But the question that I thought you met her on the street and nobody knew about it, or did, did your stylist set you up, which he said at one time before, it's, it's real confusing. It's like, I'm confused now. So it's like, this is a real soap opera. It's like, it's a setup for uh, for reuniting with Royce. It's a setup for adding to your time. Like, you don't understand because he, he's got everything so calculated. You got the steps. Like, well, first I get a new girlfriend. Then she's too young. Then I break up with her. Then I beg for royalty back. Then I do this, and then this, and next thing you know, me and Royce are better. It's like it's so calculated, strategic, that it's hard to tell exactly what's real and what's fake. Y'all watch this video, comment down below and tell me what you guys think, real or fake. I'm calling it fake every time something posted, but stuff be so out of hand, is real. Like, I believe that the whole Royce and his thing was kind of like fake, but the stuff he said about her... Even if it was fake, she can't come back. Just, she'll look too crazy to come back. But anyway, y'all tell me what you think about this situation about him and Tata. I was looking for her mug, y'all. I can't find it. Y'all find it. Comment down below. Send it to my Instagram right here at the bottom. Like, comment, subscribe. Watch this video and tell me what you think in the below. Comment below. Excuse me. You in my business? Yeah, don't do that. Anywho. A new hairdresser, right? That caused a lot of drama last night. Not the hair lady. Shout out to her. Me getting the new people come out and text me what they already knew anyway, but they weren't going to tell me. That's crazy. Kiara, the hair lady, she introduced me to Tata, right? Come to find out, they've been planning on scamming me. Ain't that crazy? Now, when I mean scamming me, I ain't talking about no internet stuff. I'm talking about, like, going through my wallet, scamming me. We talking, taking pictures of my credit cards, my debit cards, the real scamming. That's crazy. I want y'all to go to Tata page right now. She ain't posted. Y'all know where she at? She in jail. That's crazy. Not even because of me, but she's in jail. She just called me from jail. It's crazy, bro. It's a lot of crazy stuff been happening. And I wasn't ready for this. So it's like, I called Royalty last night. Like, you know what? I already said I was sorry to Royalty. I already been said I wanted the back. But now it's like, I need Royalty back to keep all this energy away from me. I don't want to meet nobody else new. I don't want to bring nobody else on my channel. I don't want to bring nobody else to my house. People looking at me like I'm the come up of the year. Like, oh, shoot, if we get around CJ, all we got to do is wait till he go to sleep. We can scam him, bro. Like, they... Bro, so last night, when Kiara got upset that I had a new hairdresser, you know what she started saying? She started telling on Tata. You better be careful around Tata. You better watch her then since you fire at me. You better watch Tata. All I'm saying is you better be careful. So I'm like, it was really good. What you talking about? Tell me what you talking about. Stop sugarcoating. Stop speaking in code. Boy, when she got to send them screenshots of Tata, I damn near lost my mind, bro. It's like when you trust somebody, I don't even know why I trusted her. I just freaking met her. That's me. That's all my fault. I just trust anybody. But my idea of life is if I meet you, then there's a purpose. I don't feel like I just meet people on accident. People don't come into my life on accident, on accident. But I got to keep my circle small. Listen, this. I'm not going to lie. I talked to Tata, everybody know, to try to get back a royalty, right? Just like she talked to Funny. So I'm over here getting the text messages from this girl, this girl about that girl, that girl about that girl. And I'm like, y'all both in on it. Both of y'all was trying to scam me then. So... 
it seems like, I don't know, bro, people is not genuine. No matter how good they look, no matter how entertaining it might be, they just not genuine. And I'm like, man, what do I do, bro? Because I don't want any, because listen, like I said, if you following these people because I told you to, bro, do not get mad at me if you get scammed. I'm just telling you right now. Why she in jail? That's her business. Ain't got nothing to do with me. She had old drama. He called back up with it. But I'm going to tell you this. The universe is real. The universe will provide. That's all I can say. When you messing with people that actually believe in law of attraction, that believe in God, that pray every day, and you're doing, you know, childish things like that, it's going to come back on you, and it might happen real fast. That's all I can say. Now you calling me from jail, crying, talking about you sorry. What the heck I'm going to do for you? It's weird out here in these streets, bro. Now I'm like, dang. I stayed on the phone with royalty all night. I'm like, I realize that even though I might not have been happy some of the time, at least I ain't have to worry about getting scammed by you. Like, that's really crazy. These little kids out here is crazy. They like, they worse than the trolls in the comment section.